approach a question. And this is what I've based my whole career on when it comes to test taking. And that is stem, paraphrase, and predict. Let's go into that. But this is how I go through every single question. Stem. When I'm thinking about stem, paraphrase, and predict, if I break it down, the stem of the question is what I read first. And that is basically the last line of the vignette. I look at the last line of the vignette and I say, all right, what is that last question? What is that last line? Because it's going to prime myself to the whole vignette. It also is going to kind of start understanding, keep, uh, bring uh, forth your understanding of what's the core that the test maker is asking. And it forms a framework as to what I need to look for as I tackle the body of the vignette. If I were to say, what's the most important portion of this strategy? That is paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is going line by line, starting at the top of the vignette. You've read the question. Now you start at the top and you go line by line. And after every period, you pause. After every period, you pause and you ask yourself, why is this sentence within the vignette. We're going to build on this, but a good paraphrase starts with the word, the test maker is putting this because, and when you start out paraphrasing, say after this webinar, you start doing some sort of questions, you will first do a basic summary, basically reinstating what is already there. You'll say 50 year old male presents with shortness of breath, that has been progressive throughout many years. And so you'll say, okay, 50 year old, shortness of breath. But the actual advanced paraphrase is saying, why did the test maker place this within the sentence? A 50 year old male presents with shortness of breath that has progressed for many years. Okay, maybe they're talking about some cardiac issue or some lung issue that is chronic. Whoa. Now I'm trying to interpret why the test maker is putting each line in the test question. And then finally, we're gonna be talking about prediction. Now you've gone through line by line, figuring out the why, you should have a good idea of what the answer is before you go into the answer choices. And that prevents the plug-in phenomena. Prediction is going to help you prevent the plug-in phenomena. And what is the plug-in phenomena? That is getting lost in the answer choices, then plugging it back into the vignette saying, hmm, does this sound right? Hmm, does this sound right? Does this sound right? Rereading that vignette over and over again. And so, like I say, prediction is very contingent upon a good paraphrase, and it helps you with confidence in selecting an answer choice. All right, I'm going into the answer choices now by saying I'm looking for something related to lung that's chronic and ooh, pulmonary fibrosis is going to be key. So stem, read the last line, paraphrase, line by line by line, you ask yourself, why is a certain sentence within the question? And then prediction, you make a construct in your mind before delving into the answer choices so that you ride the answer choices and the answer choices don't ride you. <laughs>